Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gaming with Zane. We just got out of war with Pasai. We were able to expand a little bit, make some money, and humiliate them. They are no longer a rival, and now our, proje our power projection is very up. We... Since we lost uh, Pasai being able to be a rival, we went ahead and went back with having the Kamai as our rival. We are just a few trust points away from having uh, the Ming be able to accept us as a tributary. And that will be good. As much as I hate paying them stuff, we will be able to expand throughout our normal neighbors and really check the power of Lan Na. We have rebel factions, Pasai separates. It appears that the king is now a babbling buffoon. Great, he's going to have lots of negative traits. Is that what they're getting at? Nope, he's done with his traits. Only one negative trait, so that is not bad. Yeah, I knew he... So our, our brother died before, and we had no heir at the time. Uh, I was pretty sure that I had this increased chance of uh, having an heir with him and we an age zero because for a minute we did not have an heir and it looks like Malacca is now uh, being a bit opportunist against Pasai I guess that's good for them so give them a tick to heal and send them back on their missions There we go, protect trade, and Siam. We've got a little money to do things with. Let's uh let's do things with that money. Taxation is usually best. I've only got a handful of thirteens. Uh what about production? Those that will wind up netting me a bit more money in different places. What about local manpower? That's a rough call, except I could probably use that as the next place that we... That will be, I think, where we do colonialism. 15, 61. I think that is where we will do it anyway, just be able to get more building points in there. So yeah, let's uh, production was good but let's go with the barracks. What else? So these are all not that great, no different than building the the taxation, the temple. So I think that is what we may do, get a little bit more money eked out of our provinces. We'll start there, and there. I guess that is it for now. Our agent Basai was discovered. That's all right. Uh, we will retract him. But in the meantime, that is still considered a claim, but that will be ending soon. Let's uh, let's go ahead and grab claims on our neighboring territories, and we will give the rest to our vassal. All of this here, so that we have the northern end, all of that state as well. And they have the southern end. But we've got places we could spy on. Let's spy on Khmer. Because we will definitely, very soon, be able to declare war on them. I've been itching to do it for so long. But we have another vassal that is free. What can we do with them? They have basically full opinion of us. 
it would take no time to annex them, and I would very much like to declare war on Malacca. What is their relation like? I mean, we can do it a little bit more. It's something to do. Let's do it. Uh, another thing that we could do, Alva's opinion of us has come down. I'm allied to a rival. Who is their rival? Monyang, okay. But uh, even so, we can improve relations with you until we get ready to actually attack Lan Na. And the way that we will do that is if everything is still the same, yes. Kamai is allied with Lan Na. So we will attack Kamai, call in our favors to bring everybody in who is allied with... Oh, they are no longer allied with all of them. So that doesn't even matter. I think that I may prefer it to just get a big old war going with everybody involved because my allies will outnumber theirs. I can't check now because I've sent all of my diplomats away, but I'm pretty sure that, that still exists. These guys owe me favor. They owe me favor. They owe me favor. And so it would be against Lana. Kmai and Champa. And it looks like Lan Xiang may actually win all of this. So they will get their territory back, which is, I mean, good and bad. They'll be stronger for the next war. But I was kind of hoping to peacefully vassalize them. I guess that's not going to happen now. Uh, Lan Na has declared war on Dai Viet. That is kind of good. I could go ahead and reduce my maintenance cost. Make a ton of money. Well, not a ton of money. It's a fair amount of money for being on this side of the globe. So yeah, now Champa is at war with Dai Viet. Yeah. Where's that? Dai Viet's fortunes have, uh, have changed drastically. So we have finally converted Pasai. That is great. Uh, we can convert Chaya. So let's go for it. Only Pasai separatists. I'm sure that we will get some uh, Sunni zealots here soon. Since that is done, let's maybe split our forces and send one there and one there. What is my land force limit? I am at it, and I'm also at my naval limit. We have one, two, three forts. Not awful. Uh, government corruption. Hmm, this is a tough one. I have not done the math to figure out whether corruption is okay in this. Generally, it's not, versus the two inflation. Uh, we can spend money to reduce corruption instead of spending monarch points. And it's just money. So that sounds a little bit better. Malacca has declared... Oh, oh, wow. Wow, they took all of it. So they're left with one territory, and they won't be friendly towards me for it. Uh, do I have any? I do not. So why not? Go ahead and recall that. It's basically done anyway. Military leader has left us. That's sad. I liked him. He was good at siege, and he was good at fighting. I rarely get those. Ah, uh, so maybe we should save a bit of our points, for the at least for the time being, so that when colonialism comes in, we can go ahead and nab it. Temple, barracks, and temple have been created.
I've got the money to build one more, but I think building a war chest is probably a smooth move. So here's a question. Do they have claims? They do not. They should attempt to get claims. I cannot get any claims on any of the neighboring territories. Anna has fabricated a claim. Let's look real quick at Lana has 10,000. Kamai has 13. Yep. Yep. Okay. What's uh, Ming's trust level? Still at 28. It's okay. We are building our manpower up. What is our mission? Conquer Angkor. Okay, that's a good mission. Uh, we probably had it for quite a while, but it's a good mission. I would definitely like to accomplish that mission. Who's this that has the claim? What is this? Oh, is either, oh okay, that's from the special age thing. And either... Uh, Lan Xiang. Faithful ally is requesting that you come to their aid in the Lanzani conquest of Champa Sak against Champa. As war they have started, Champa is allied with Lan Na. Champa is subject to the Ming, which. Eh. It's a war between subjects, so it's not going to happen. I like this. If I can get. I will do it. I do need to get my men across the channel. Yes, we will. And we will come and help you, but we definitely expect territory for it. Let's check to make sure that our, yeah, we've got tagged interest all of their territory, basically. At least all of their territory nearby us. So we, we expect something from you for this, because I'm sure that we are going to be the major player in it. Spirit Discoveries. Uh, before this gets real high, let's go ahead and increase autonomy here. That way when they become cores, the rest of that will drop. And we won't have to worry about it while we're at war. What a... So you just decided that you're going to walk across and that that would be faster when the boats were right there. Just stop. You had a mission already that was annoying. That's go there, then go there. Because right now, my friends are losing. But they are doing naughty bad things instead of fighting, trying to uh, take territory that is rightfully mine. So we've got them merged together. Let's, uh, let's hunt for boats. We will hunt enemy fleets in South China. The, yeah, the South China Sea is probably best. That's going to be where the majority of... Lan Na has a fleet? Oh, they do have a port, don't they? It's alright. Let's start. By going and taking Chai Mang. Myself. Oh, very nice. They switched it over to me, so okay. If you're going to do that, then... I may as well, first of all, grab a leader, not a bad fighter, and come and break this siege. Uh, 
claim fabricated by Malacca, I'm not that concerned about it. One good thing to note is if they are the ones that are at level 8, I did get to level 8, correct? Yes, so that's not an issue. We are equally matched there. Ava, we will recall dip our diplomat from there. Army is under attack, and we won with our navy. It should be easy peasy. And a squish. Very nice. So that is the case. Tripura. I would definitely like to milk this a bit. They have one small army out there. So as we come across, we will drop a handful of men, just like that, I think. So you seven will remain behind to siege down. And they have already locked in. We will basically do the same. We want you guys, and that will work. Let's go ahead and send one more. And there we go. So they are taking those. What is that? That is a two. So the walls are breached right away. That's very nice. So we've occupied those. Uh, that requires a few men to take care of. Uh, why don't we do that? Oh, because they've got nine sitting right there. Ava has declared war on Lan Na. Very interesting. Looks like Lan Na's fortune is about to change. Claims fabricated by Kamai. Where are they going? Where? Oh, to China. Okay. Perhaps we should be a bit more... Well, we can't go anywhere until that is taken. We can come here. Just leaving that one a little bit exposed. Uh, we've gained a core province. Core province. of discoveries but this one basically doesn't know what to do disease outbreak is sad we've gotten more boats killed all right so they are just giving it all to me uh, I will definitely not be helping there we will move back to reinforce our seizures Very good. Uh, what kind of idea are we taking? I think that will be fine. What's our tech looking like? Uh, no, we wanted to hang on to it for colonialization. And so the time has come, uh, but no one has reached the new world. That is very interesting. We will take that off. Our agent was discovered. That's okay. So what's uh what's Ming thinking of us now? Twenty nine, so close, so close. That's very nice. Uh, I will let you siege that back, and I will take it. just so that my enemies can't have it, so that Ava can't have it. Not my enemies yet, but I'm certain they will be. It's very nice. Tongwu has taken that. So yeah, they will have no expansion forward.
And once that is sieged down, we will bring, where are you guys going? Down to the south. That is done, so we will bring you here and have you form a wall. More boats destroyed. That one is done. Let's have you move there. Then we will bring this one back just to reinforce a bit. So how many have they got? They haven't increased that much. The Khmer are attacking Ava. How interesting. I can't help you there yet. <clears throat> we are doing pretty good with this. They are coming around looking like they are going to try to attack my stuff. Oh my goodness! Another air dies? Wow. Uh... Oh. Oh, that's interesting. It will be rough trying to strengthen my government, but he is pretty good. I guess we will go there. Wait, what? New heir to my throne was supposed to be a 444. He is a 444. Jeez, we're going to have awful legitimacy for a while here in the future. It's alright, that one is done. We can move forward. <coughs> Still keeping our wall set up. I am really not that concerned about Batabong falling. Because they'll be stopped at a Yutia anyway. It would be better to take Lana out of this war and get as much as we can. But uh, let's go ahead. What is. Hmm. Let's hold off on doing the conversion. So there's that. They're sieging that down, so why don't we come and deal with the pesky rat? Let's get another general. Oh. Oh. That's very nice. But I think what needs to happen here is uh, you need to be in charge of that and go here. And. No, 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 no. That's not quite right. Uh, yes. Yes, that is. We want you to remain in charge of that, and you go all the way over there. What's it take? It doesn't take anything for you to go there. So that's very good. Merge them up. And merge you up. And have you move to Gorat. Where are you going? Udong. So they probably know what I'm up to. I'm coming to get them. For being pesky. So there we go. Merged up. Let's go and attack them. Where are they going? They're going back to bat bang. And we got them. Uh, they're coming to attack. Who's coming to attack that? Yeah. They're coming to attack, but that seems a bit foolish. The siege is over, so that'll be good. We will get any defensive bonuses. So here's that. Our army is under attack. Up here, that's what I expected. Yeah, that's very nice. So Batabang is there. 
Uh, let's attach a siege and probably chase after them. What is my war participation? 85%. So I'm going to get most of this. That's exactly what I want. So they are squished. I'm going to continue working around here and then we will begin focusing on the Champa. Let's head to Champasak and have it for ourselves. But Bang has been recovered. Uh, we have occupied there. But we can't move in any further. So let's uh, let's begin sieging down Indrapura. How many boats do they have hanging around? Not many. It's Lan Na that has the boats. Here. So then let's move there. So that when it comes around, we will take out all their boats. Ayutthaya has occupied Champasak. Maybe 16. So we'll probably have to split them up and move some there. We gotta wait until that is starting to be sieged. Let's merge you and split. And you will move there. Well, where'd they go? Where'd their boats go? Oh well, let's uh, let's come down and help with the siege then. Utia is occupied up here. Can we walk around? Uh, no, but we can. Get onto the boats right there. Sure. Can we? We can also not walk around. We do not have military access, even though didn't Champa have military access? Anyway. So Ava is. is uh, Bring that down. What you couldn't just walk across? You are connected. Why did you have to change C zones? Uh, gift to the state. Put in the treasury gain prestige. We are doing good with money. So let's uh, take the prestige for morale. The plight. Gain ten karma. Lose ducats. Uh, I think that is what we want to do. I'm not certain though. No, no. We kind of want to be bad. Uh, but it's in a place. What's the unrest here? Oh no, it's fine. We can take the karma. No, no. Patini, you're on it. You're doing exactly what you need to do. Patini, stay there. But you're not going to. Because you're hard headed. Um. I am still a little bit surprised. Let's go ahead and do the Diplotech so that if we decide to increase our military, we'll be good. But beyond that, I do think we should still keep saving it up, even though no one has discovered the new world. Whoa. Oh, he's still transporting back. Let's say, what happened here? The Siege of Indrapur is over. That's very nice. Bring, no, we can't do that, but we can trap them, basically. So we're no longer trading in tropical wood. We were for just a second. Oh, and we've got a new ability. Let's, I guess, do... I guess let's do combat terrain. Our... Oh, 
Okay. They are taking that. Ming has declared war on the right. Uh, okay. So what did we get here? We definitely got some territory. Not a whole lot, though. Whoa, you bastards. All of that and I got nothing. Lan Na accepted peace with their former enemies, Lan Xiang. Lan Na will cede Moment to Ayutthaya. That's it. Lan Na will cede all of this to Lan Xiang. The bastards. How much aggressive expansion? This will cause Ayutthaya to get 12 aggressive expansion and Lan Xiang to suffer. I'll form a co coalition against you. I do not care that you are my ally at this point. You bastards. That is a little annoying. Oh, but look, there's no more dive yet. How interesting. But, uh... See, right here, we could use some sieging. That's the only way that's going to get done. But I am almost convinced that I should just chill out. Can I form a coalition with them? Or against them? Form coalition, must have 50, but there's no way to know how much I have. Like, it should say it right there. Uh, I can't because I am allied with them. So you don't have 50 points, here's how many points you have. Simple as that. On Xiang, um, you, you can just die. That was rude as could be. Because I know if I did that as an ally of someone, I would get hell for it. National manpower modifier is what we'll go with. I should have declined to join that with you. That way you'd lose. But it did give me some power projection to fight against Lan Na. So that is done. Champa will be forced to give 10%. Pay 70 ducats. I will get most of it. Eh. I've gained 21 favors. They can go to hell. What? Go ahead and do that. What does China think of me? Oh, still? Come on. I guess this gives us a little time to recover. Uh, we've got Besai is still angry as can be. They are not dropping nearly as fast from, from development. My diplomatic reputation drop and that's what's causing a bit of it and I guess with that war over we will take some time to recover and hopefully Ming will increase their trust with us thank you so much for watching please make sure to like subscribe and comment down below and we will see you in the next episode